Hi guys, this is Andy and uh, today I'm going to be making bihun goreng, vegetarian. So let's get started. I'm going to start by frying the eggs. Let's just scramble this egg. We're going to fry this egg and then we're going to take it out of the oil. Okay, now that the egg is fried, <laughs> the egg is fried, we'll take it out of the oil and just keep it aside for a minute. Like that. Done. And then we're going to fry our onion, garlic. We're going to fry onion, garlic and spring onion to get a little bit soft. Into this we add our carrots. We want a carrot stock so we're going to add it in now instead of later. And because this is vegetarian we want some protein in so I've um, air fried tofu which I had marinated with a little bit of oil and salt and a little bit of curry powder just for the flavor. Now usually we deep fry tofu then you get it really nice that's how we do it there but I'm trying to be healthy here so I just air fried it and I like it a little bit hard and a little bit crunchy so I've overcooked mine a little bit if that's not your choice this can be left out or you can cook it a little bit shorter now that our tofu is a little bit softer we're gonna season it with a little bit of salt a little bit of salt a little bit of black and white pepper mix. I, I, I prefer this compared to um, just white or black. Give that a little stir. This is nice and soft. And this now we get into this. We're going to add some bean sprouts. Tauge, call it. I don't personally. I don't really like tauge. I used to always remember whenever I used to go out for dinner or so with my family when we were young and we'd order noodles and stuff, uh, I used to say, please leave out the tauge. But now that I'm older, I realize that when you make a noodle dish, this, this really adds some depth to it. It's, it, it yeah, gives this taste, it's just this flavor. Into this we added pak choy, some pak choy. This is my favorite, my most favorite vegetable. I could eat this every day. Pak soy, not tauge. Now this looks good. You could eat it seriously. You could eat this just like that. It's so amazing. Okay, for a little bit of spice, I got a little bit of red chili here. Again, if you want that spice, you can add it. If you don't want it, just leave it out. But I like a little bit of spice, not too much. Like. And then in here, we're gonna add our bihun. I'm going to add to this one tablespoon of dark soy sauce, half a tablespoon of oyster sauce. This is for one portion, so I'm not using too much, but if you're going to make it for more people, then you can always double or triple the amount. And a little bit of black vinegar. Mix that up. Okay, this is done. Now we're going to put back the eggs that we fried separately earlier and last but not least the secret ingredient and the sarang now let's mix that all up and our bihun goreng vegetarian is ready Transfer this to the bowl. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't spill. Runaway tofu right there on the table. <laughs> Bit of veggies. Mm. 
It's ready. Look at that. Yummy, yeah? Oh, my goodness. Let me try it. Let me try it. A little bit spicy and perfect crunch from the bok choy, the tofu. Delicious. Sedap gila. You must give this a try. Try it. Let me know. Like and subscribe. I'm going to be having my dinner. So go make this and have your dinner with me. Bye.